Well, welcome back everybody. So as you can see, all this leather is real nice and shiny now. Uh, what I have done is I have taken my cloth, and now that everything's dry, and I have used this cloth and just buffed my leather. Now what that does is it helps lay that polish real nice and smooth right down into the leather and gives it a really nice polished finished look. As you can see, that shirt just slides right down. This is a old rag piece of shirt that I cut up. But you can see how slick that is. Now, if this cloth were dirt, <laughs> guess what that dirt's gonna do on the saddle? It's just gonna wipe right off. It's gonna be awesome. So now this leather is protected against dirt. Again, I still need to oil it so that way it's not gonna be so, so stiff. But uh, that's all in the finish work here. But now that I have gotten my leather treated, it's dyed, it's polished, now I gotta add all my saddle screws and stuff right back where they go and up in here. So what I had to do is I got a saddle repair kit. Now the repair kits come with your Latigo keepers, these little gadgets here. Um, they come with your saddle screws, um, some D-rings, and actually if I move this around you can see right here, this is a D-ring I put on this saddle. Now, um, what I decided I wanted to do was instead of putting the D-ring down as my breast collar ring, I decided I would use it up here because this way if I needed to clip a canteen or something on here I can do that. Now this is the wrong size D for this concho. This is actually a leather concho. It's very small but um, it should be made for a bigger one. But um, the tab on this, if I get a smaller one, will just make it so that that concho sits right like this, just right overlapping that D. And uh, But for now, this is what I got, so I'm going to use it. So that's what came in the kit, along with everything else. Now, what I'm going to do is start putting all the parts and pieces back where they go. Now, what I have done is, I don't know if you've ever seen it, you probably have. I did, on this D-ring, I've got it here, what they call a bleeder. What that is, is it's just leather. It's like one long leather strap that's looped, and like I did here, I had to improvise, so I popped a hole, just a small little hole in the leather and attached my screw right through there and then added my metal conchos which I picked up at the store that I thought were really cool and seemed to match what the saddle was already and it kind of also matches the scallop of my saddle repair kit so I decided I'd go with these. Now these are a slotted metal concho and you can see how the leather just kind of fits right in those little slots there in the back and what you do with these is what they call a bleeder. So you see there's a little hole, the slit that I've made right there in the leather. I've done the same thing on the back, right back here. So what I'll be doing is when I attach this to the saddle, you'll see it's back, wove through the front. And this will obviously drop back because it's, it's kind of doing this but right through the slot. So then you end out with the bleeder, just like this. That's how, that's how that's made. Just back to front, back to front, and there you go. So now I have got to put all the pieces and parts all back on the saddle now. So hopefully this time I have all my stuff together here and hopefully you can see what I'm doing. We'll give this a go. <laughs> Alrighty. Now because I didn't have as long of leather uh, saddle strings as I wanted to, I ended out taking two pieces and put a hole in it together 
and just kind of lined them up as if they were one piece entirely. So because of that, when I put the screws back where they're supposed to, these pieces kind of like to twist on me, which kind of sucks. So I'm going to have to be, be very aware of that. So I'm going to slide this metal contour down. Put this right up there where it's supposed to be. And just put these right in there where it's supposed to. Good. That's right where it needs to be. Now, I found it's better to work from the back because then I can put this seat jockey and push it right up against the cannel like it's supposed to. Now that this is all screwed in there. Now I can slide. See how it's slotted there? Put my concho on. Now back to front. Make sure that's nice and tight and laying flat. Now back to front. These holes are really, really narrow, so it's kind of a little bit tough to get them in there, and it should be. It's going to hold that on there a lot better because of it. Leather works pretty tough on your hands anyway. You want to make sure that that pulls through nice and flat. There you go. Now I've got saddle strings on my saddle. Now move on to the next spot right here. Get my smaller set right here. I'll take that metal concho off, make sure this piece is up, that this piece is down and overlaps like it's supposed to. Make sure these stay up and down like they're supposed to. Okay, that's nice and tight. Now I can weave my Poncho, right on there. Back to front. Make sure that's nice and flat. That did not want to come through flat, so you work that. There it goes. Okay. Now back to front again. Pushing that right through that slot. Pull it up, make sure it's flat. There you go. So this is how that works. Now, this spot right here, I don't really need a concho there. My leg sometimes kind of rubs up on there anyway, so what's the purpose of having a concho in the way? Just keep that smooth. So, to make sure my leather's pushed forward, nice up and snug up in here. Now, if I had started from the front and somehow this were to slip down and I put this where it goes, I'm going to end out with a wobble in my seat jockey. So it's kind of easy to start from the back, make sure everything lays flat and is right up snug like it's supposed to. So. There it goes, right where that's supposed to be. Now lastly, I have got my Latigo Keepers. I'm push that out of the way. And this, look it went right there. 
Now again, because these are longer ties, I had to take two strips and pretend and kind of cut them in half, but make them as one. Now this is my Latigo keeper, so my Latigo slots can fit right up in here. So I'm gonna go ahead, make sure that those stay where they're supposed to. Cause I know that they don't want to. Sorry, I know my hand's in the way. Hopefully that's in there where it's supposed to. I can't tell. Alrighty. Same thing here. Bottom to top. Make sure it's flat and bottom to top. And now I repeat on the other side. And that's how I put in my saddle strings right there in the saddle. With those conchos. So there you go. That's how that's how we're doing that. I hope that a pretty good idea on start to finish on how to repair the saddle and clean it up and uh, yeah I just got to do it on the other side now this piece some of you might not know what that's for but this is actually your cinch keeper um, I got a cinch handy right here next to me so basically when you are saddling up your horse you can take that leather tab Put it through your cinch ring and it'll hold your cinch up and out of your way so that's kind of cool so um in case you didn't know what the cinch keeper was what this little weird tab of leather was for now you know Alrighty, and that's that's it that's all i got for you and i guess at some point i'll have pictures of what this thing looked like when we first started out to what it is now have a good one, everyone.